Hey, my name is Nick from State of Woods Co. and Phantom CNC dealer. In this video, I want to show you how to do the initial electrical hookup on all of our pendant controlled CNC machines. This includes our 4x4 machines in the SC series and our 4x8s and 5x10s in the S series machines. The first thing that you need to know about the electrical requirements of these machines is in this video, all of the equipment runs off of a 30 amp breaker on 220. Everything is single phase power. The CNC itself will need a 30 amp breaker and any vacuum pumps that you have, the 4x4s being one vacuum pump, 4x8s and 5x10 S series machines need two vacuum pumps. Each vacuum pump will require its own 30 amp breaker on 220. For this video, I'm going to show you how to wire up the electrical to the CNC itself. If you want to know how to wire up the vacuum pumps, that is in a separate video and there's a link to it right up here. If your shop or your garage doesn't have enough outlets, make sure that you ask a certified electrician to install you some new 220 outlets. Phantom CNC machines do not come with cords and plugs for their equipment because everybody's electrical requirements are a little bit different. So what you're going to need to do is go to your big box store or electrical supply store and pick up cords and plugs for your machine. You're going to want to pick up 10-2 wire for 220, which means that there are two hots and a ground usually a black, a white, and then one green ground wire. Now you can use any type of 30 amp 220 plug and outlet that you would like. My recommendation is to actually go with a twist lock system. The reason I do this is because of the safety feature. You'll plug in your outlet and twist just slightly a quarter turn and it actually locks it into the outlet so that if you trip over it or something happens, it can't pull out from the wall unexpectedly. The one thing that I always stress to people about CNC electrical stuff is to always wire your CNC to a plug. Don't ever hardwire it into your electrical panel because if severe weather comes, you want to be able to disconnect your CNC from the power grid. So if there's lightning strikes or power surges, it cannot affect your CNC machine. What we're going to want to do first is to go ahead and wire up the actual control panel box of the CNC. So we're going to open the cabinet. And you'll see that on the left side of the control box, there is a slit in this cabinet. You're going to feed wire. You can go ahead and take your 10 gauge wire and you can go ahead and strip off maybe 10 to 12 inches on the end and feed it through the outside of that box and into the cabinet itself. Now inside the control box, you'll see a contactor right beside the VFD and right below that you'll see the ground bar at the bottom of the cabinet. You're going to take your two hot wires, the black and the white, and you're going to connect them into the contactor at the top here just by simply putting them down into the little grooves and then tightening it down tight with the screwdriver. Once you've got it connected to the contactor, you want to loosen one of these ground bar screws and you want to feed your ground wire into the bar and tighten it down. So now what we're going to do is put the outlet on the cord. So we're going to take the outlet apart. We're going to slot our wires through. We're going to separate them. So you've got your ground goes into the green and we'll tighten that up. And same for your black and your whites. Now, once we've got all that in place, we're going to push it back in and tighten everything down. Now that the electrical into the panel is all set up, it's time to connect the controller. The controller is found in your box of accessories on the bed of the table when it gets delivered to you. Now we're going to want to connect this controller to the cabinet. So we're going to open this up again and you'll see on the right side of the cabinet inside there's going to be a slit that goes out to the outside. We're going to feed this wire through the outside. And there's only one way that this plug can go in. So we're just going to set it right in, plug it in tight, and tighten it down. Now that we have the electrical all hooked up, it's a matter of powering it on with the master button. And everything worked perfectly. So I hope this video helped you on hooking up the electrical to the CNC. Stay tuned for more training videos on all of our CNC series machines. And until next time, have fun with your CNC.